Hi friends! So I have quite an interesting book to read. I thought why not make a vlog about this experience because I'm pretty sure that this will be an experience. The book I'm talking about is A Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't know much about this book other than what I've heard about in YouTube videos and on Twitter. The main reason for why I decided to pick this one up from the library is because I want to understand all of the jokes. I'm not sure how long it will take me. I did start working a full-time job last week. I'll definitely try to vlog this entire thing and we'll see how it goes. chapters in the first chapter where oh how do you even pronounce her name her name is Fayer Fayre Fayre in the first chapter she kind of reminds me of Katniss I'm wondering if Katniss was an inspiration for Fayre in the first chapter of the Hunger Games Katniss also goes hunting with a bow and it's kind of the same thing here and both are really poor well this is the most charming angle ever I'm just gonna continue where I left off last night for now it's just me in my bed Reading Akutar. Guys, I keep forgetting that this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I'm reminded every time I read the word beast, I keep forgetting. Hi friends! I've been considering what to do. I'm currently watching a few TV shows. I'm watching Shugakuse Nikki, which I'm really enjoying. I think I've only watched four episodes. Things are about to go down. The Ust is great. If you don't know, the Ust is original soundtrack. And I like to say ost, because ost is the Swedish word for cheese. So from now on, whenever I refer to the ost, I'm talking about the soundtrack of a TV show. I have a playlist on my phone that is literally just named the cheese emoji. And that playlist only has soundtracks of Asian dramas in it. I also have a playlist named Ostarnas ost, which translates to basically the cheese of all cheeses. That one is dedicated to, <laughs> funnily enough, I'm the only one who's enjoying this. That playlist, the, the, the Cheese of All Cheeses, is a dedicated playlist for <laughs> the soundtrack of the K-drama Cheese in the Trap. Very fitting, right? <laughs> I think I'm tired, so that's why my humor is worse than usual. But either way, I was considering whether I should watch a TV show or if I should read. And I really been thinking about how boring this vlog is and how I should at least try to change <laughs> the, the angle and the setup for at least one clip. So instead of being over there, I'm now sitting here. I'm 80 pages in. Not much is going on. I thought that perhaps I should also talk about what I know about Akotar or what I knew about Akotar before reading Akotar. Well, what I knew about Akotar is that it's very, it's very talked about in the booktube community and book twitter community. A name that I had heard about in videos is Rye Sand. But the thing is, so far, no Rye Sand. And also, on the back side where the plot is, no Rye Sand. So I'm starting to think that Rye Sand actually shows up in the second book, which I believe is called A Court of Mist and Fury. What I think is that we actually have a second male lead syndrome thing going on, or like a love triangle but where the second main lead actually wins. Is that a thing? And also, I know I'm only like a fifth through the book, so I obviously have quite a bit to go. So far, no smut, no... <laughs> not smut, it's a YA. Well, none of that explicit stuff has happened yet. Which also makes me believe that all of those like memed things about the book and you know the things you hear about Akatar. Is it that all of those things will just happen like in the second and third book? Is that the deal? Because I might be disappointed if that's the case. I should stop blabbering, I should just say what I think about the book and then I should get to reading. So far I do enjoy it. I like the writing. I think I like the character. She's obviously very much this, oh I'm not pretty. I work hard to keep my family fed. Like that type of female lead. So there's one part where she Oh, what's the quote? I need to find it. She's looking in the mirror and she says, I cringed at my reflection. It wasn't pleasing. 
What do you mean it wasn't pleasing? That's not nice. Speaking of not nice, or rather being nice, I did enjoy this very great compliment made by Tanlin as... Uh, oh, I... I will never be able to, pr to pronounce her name. Fair? Fairy? The female lead. Fairy. 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 Because it's Fay. R E. Fairy. Fairy? When Tamlin tries to compliment Fairy after she has showered and changed clothes, he says, You look better than before. And after a pause, and your hair is clean. Good job, Tamlin. Is it that he will need to try to impress Fairy to fall for him in order to break some curse? Which I don't quite. I don't really get the curse either. Because he. Or I don't even, I don't think I know what the curse is, perhaps. I don't know. I should keep reading. Snacks I have for reading, because I had a rough day, is popcorn. Oh boy, in my Winnie the Pooh mug. Let's get to reading. She said a favorite color, yeah. Yeah. She said a favorite color, yellow. Yeah. It look good on her dress. Trying to be slim, thick, nothing less But she's falling in and out of love Her heart was broken Wonder if your summertime crushes even notice it. Another thing I just wanted to say really quickly Is that recently, or for the last few months I've started to enjoy something I never thought I would enjoy And that is listening to lo-fi music And I never thought I would be a lo-fi person But I enjoy it so much So while I'm reading, I'm actually listening to lo-fi which is super cool. Back to reading. I'm on page 110 and Tamlin and Fairy are having a conversation and he asks, has anyone ever taken care of you? And I'm like, you wanna take care of her? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Hi friends, it's been a while. I thought I might up you, update you now because I've actually done some reading today. So I'm officially more than halfway through the book. Also, I look a bit sweaty. I worked out today. Yes, I got tired. I have some opinions. Let's see, where should I start? Honestly, at first not much happened. She was just walking around the, the palace, the court, whatever it is, all day, every day. And like, we had some Tamlin and Fairy moments, but at the same time, I found them quite Boring. Or no, I didn't find the moments boring. I found Tamlin a bit boring because I don't know He's a bit stoic and uptight. Things have happened now, which I requested. Let's first talk about Tamlin and Fairy. As I said, they did have a slow build-up. Nothing had happened even when I passed the 50% mark. We do have that scene after that fairy festival thingy where Fairy was not supposed to attend and she and Tamlin met in like the hallway but then once we got past the 50% mark and I did more reading they finally kissed but it was boring I mean like as I said the build up was quite nice and then the kiss was just like meh like even their teasing the day after the first kiss that was so much hotter and intense and fun compared to that kiss, if you ask me. Like when they were just like going back and forth about whether or not they should talk about it, I guess. So they have kissed now. We are getting some action, because this was basically what I expected from the book. Although, as I said, I do think I might have been thrown off and that most of the action that is usually referenced when talking about this series actually takes place in the second book. Speaking of the second book, I think I have finally met Raisan. Actually, Raisan was first introduced to Fairy at a time where she did not learn his name, but I knew, I knew from that moment that that was Raisan. You don't just call a random character the most beautiful man you have ever seen. That's not a thing. If she thinks that he's the most beautiful man she's ever seen, he's going to get a name later on in the book. Raisan is quite awful. He's introduced to us that way. He's very awful. He's beautiful, but he's mean and he's bad, although he did help her once. So I am quite intrigued what's going to lead to all of the rice and hype. Just to conclude this little update, I'm on, I'm about to start chapter 27. I'm about 240 pages in. Yes, my hair is wet. Yes, the light is bad. And yes, this is not the most exciting setting. I have exactly 90 pages left of Akotar. Things are going on, obviously. The bad things have happened. We now know what the curse is. Fairy has gotten herself into some trouble, I guess. She's doing the competition thingy. She has that bet 
going on. I don't really care about the bed. And yes, the romance is sweet, but as I said before, I find Tamlin quite boring. Although I'm struggling to see how any romance can develop between Ryzen and Fairy in like the future books. The book isn't bad. It's quite an alright book actually. I can see why people enjoy it. I just read this epic action scene and I really didn't care that much. I'm, I'm getting like slightly bored. That's where I'm at. I guess it's a bit generic. Says I, the girl whose favorite book is Twilight. One thing, this bad thing going on, the big bad said that there was only one person who believed that Fairy would succeed in her task. It's not revealed who that person is yet, but I'm guessing already that it's Raisan, because they need to start building up for the fact that there will be a relationship between Fairy and Raisan. They need to start building it up. I do think it's Raisan. A few moments later. I told you so. I just said that Raisan was the, probably the one betting on Fairy. Two pages later, guess what? Hi friends, it's October 1st and two days ago I returned Akutar to the library and I also finished Akutar two days ago. I have no clue how this reading vlog turned out. I thought it would be more exciting. Of course I need to wrap up my thoughts about the book. So here's the thing. I kinda found the book a bit boring. I didn't really connect to any of the characters. I didn't really fall for any of the characters. The relationships I found quite boring or not interesting. There wasn't really that much chemistry I feel like. Uh, they did try to build up Fairy and Tamlin's relationship but honestly I was quite disappointed by the end because there wasn't really that much interaction. I'm also tr struggling to see how I would come to enjoy Rai Sand and Fairy as a couple. Apparently though, I found on the last page of the book there's a pronunciation guide. So Rai Sand is apparently pronounced as Resand. I've been saying Rysand this whole vlog. His name is Resand. And Fairy's name was something like Fairy. I'm gonna stick with Fairy. <laughs> the relationships I did enjoy in the book though were the relationship between Vera and her sisters, especially when she was able to go back to her home and reconnect with her sisters. I really enjoyed that part actually. <laughs> when uh, setting my rating on Goodreads I did read some of the reviews and I do have to agree with one of them which is that a lot of the backstories were told through dialogue which is quite simple just to have someone explain everything to you really hoped for a more fun and exciting vlog i wanted it to be dramatic and uh, exciting my guess is that most of that will be in the second book but i I'm honestly not sure if I should read the second book. I did order it off the library and I got the email today that it's my turn to pick it up. So I have to decide whether I want to do that or not or if I will maybe get back to the story later on. I ended up giving Akotar 2.5 stars. I could see what the author was trying to do but I just didn't get into the story and I didn't connect with the characters or their relationships. It must be noted that we all have our own guilty pleasures. Mine, as I have said, is Twilight, which is quite boring, basic, problematic. So don't come for me <laughs> for that one. I acknowledge it myself. So yeah, I mean, we all have our gu guilty pleasure books that we love. I guess that's that. Thank you for watching this messy and long vlog. Bye. You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes